Welcome to this VMAX video tutorial. In this episode, we're going to uh, fix a little quirk that I've run into while I was uh, attempting to make this video for OpenSim. Uh, so we're going to do this before we move on to launching Firestorm and logging into our OpenSim. What I found was uh, Firestorm was having a little bit of trouble finding our instance of OpenSim locally. I don't normally run into this problem. I'm not sure why it's happening right now, uh, but I do have a fix. So this is something that you may have to do, uh, or you may not necessarily run into this and, and you don't have to worry about it. But we need to learn how to deal with configuration files anyway, so uh, why don't you just go ahead and follow along and, and we'll get it sorted out. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we're gonna shut down our instance of OpenSim. Now the command to do that is very simple, shut down. That's, uh, that's all it is. You click that, and now that's closed. Inside of our OpenSim folder, if you recall, uh, we were in our bin folder, which is where OpenSim.exe was, uh, OpenSim.exe. Uh, we're going to pull up our OpenSim.ini. That's uh, in, in an uh, initialization file. You find it right here. Uh, I'm going to drag it over to a notepad editor. Now, this thing has a lot of settings, just the little things that you can edit in a regular old text file. That's that's how this stuff works. Uh, and we're just going to scroll down. It's fortunately, it's very near the top at what we're looking for. I'm going to go right down here, and uh, this is our constants section. And all this is is uh, it uh, just a couple of values that it's going to use in order to uh, find where OpenSim is on your system. And uh, the, the value we're interested in is right here. It's called public port. And uh, normally this is 9,000. And if you recall, when we did the installation of OpenSim, we put in 9,000. For some reason, it uh, it insists on being 8002 uh, in this initialization file. Uh, that should be 9,000. 8002 is uh, when you're using it in grid mode. That's a default. But this really should be 9,000, and, and uh, somehow wires got crossed. Um, so fixing it's very simple. All we do is change this 8002 to our port 9,000. Okay. And that's it, and save. All right, we have saved it, and now we are going to run OpenSim again. And if you recall, all you do is click OpenSim.exe. And I get that little message just to warn you. I'll drag this down here. And it's initializing. Now, this is going to be a little different than last time, because last time we ran it for our first time, and it asked us a bunch of initialization questions. Uh, for example, who's going to be the administrative user? In this particular case, you'll see logins are enabled. So we're done. Uh, we've launched OpenSim, and we don't actually have to go through that setup process anymore. Uh, and in future, when you need to run OpenSim, all you're going to do is click on that icon, and we're going to make a shortcut for that later. Uh, but you just double-click on it, and you're ready to go. Okay, in the next video, we're going to launch Firestorm and see if we can get in.